all pro cornerback Xavier Howard will be a Las Vegas Raider. And no, you know, this is not clickbait. I do have genuine reason to believe that this move will be happening in the very near future. So first off, I wanted to shout out Hondo Carpenter because, you know, he has said in the past that this move, the Raiders were exploring this move before the NFL draft, sort of in that initial wave of free agency. And obviously it didn't happen then. And my guess as to why it didn't happen at that time is that there was a price discrepancy. You know, Xavier Howard probably wanted, you know, an astronomical amount of money and the Raiders just weren't prepared to offer him that amount. But, you know, as we get closer to the season, I think his price is going to be going down. And, you know, when you look at the Raiders roster outlook after the draft, I think we desperately need a cornerback. You know, it was reported. I don't know if you guys saw. I'm going to play the clip that Terry and Arnold said that Antonio Pierce had called him after the draft and said it was a coin flip decision between you and Brock Bowers. They knew that the Raiders, it was a possibility that they took me and actually the Raiders coach, they called me after the draft. And they were like, you know, we actually uh, had a coin toss between you and Brock Bowers and landed on him. I was like, oh, wow. Obviously, we ended up passing on Terry and Arnold and drafting our guy Brock Bowers out of Georgia. But I think the mere fact that we were even considering drafting Arnold means that the regime doesn't have confidence in a guy like Jaquarian Bennett starting opposite of Jack Jones. And they recognize that we have a hole at that cornerback position. And, you know, that's where a guy like Xavier Howard would be able to come in. You know, he's worked with Patrick Graham in the past in Miami because Graham, you know, he was a defensive coach in Miami with Xavier Howard as their number one cornerback. And also we've gone to that Miami tree before just this offseason. We signed Christian Wilkins to a four year monster contract. And, you know, Wilkins and him have a connection. Obviously, they were teammates in Miami. And, you know, Howard, you know, he's been a star. He's been a two-time All-Pro, a four-time Pro Bowler, and he's, he's led the league in interceptions two different times. You know, he just turned 30, so he's on the little bit of the older side. He's on the other side of 30, but, you know, I think he can have a similar effect that Casey Hayward had. You know, he's a plug-and-play veteran. He brings a savvy veteran presence to the secondary, to a young secondary that desperately needs it. You know, last year, we were young and scrappy. We had guys like Amik Robertson stepping up. You know, Ja'Cory Bennett's a young player. And obviously, Jack Jones and Nate Hobbs, they're all younger players who haven't hit that second contract yet. And so we had our most success in that secondary when we had a guy like Casey Hayward sort of manning the ship and kind of directing traffic on where everyone needs to go and sort of calming the room in, in that sort of sense. So, you know, I think Howard brings a similar presence. I think he's more accomplished also than Casey Hayward. You know, he's done it you know, at a higher level for a longer time than Hayward did when we brought Hayward in. And obviously Hayward made some spectacular plays, you know, in big moments against the Chargers. He basically won us that week 18 game. And, you know, another thing I wanted to point out too is Hondo had mentioned there were some locker room concerns with him in Miami. He did request a trade. I don't think he vibe with that fit, that culture fit in Miami. But I think that's where Antonio Pierce comes in because we saw it with Jack Jones last year. You know, he was he was considered a locker room cancer with the Patriots, but, you know, we had that connection with Antonio Pierce and he was able to bring in a guy like Jack Jones and ingratiate him within the culture and sort of integrate him to our version, the Raider way. And he was able to harness his, all of his talent. And he produced for us at a very high level. I would even consider Jack Jones an all pro talent at the cornerback position. And that's only because Antonio Pierce was able to get the most out of him. And I think with a guy like Xavier Howard, I think Pierce could have a very similar impact on what Howard can do with us. You know, he didn't produce the last two seasons. His PFF metrics were a little bit lower. He only had one interception each of the past two seasons. But I think with a team like us, we can motivate Howard to, you know, be on the straight and narrow path and really produce and become that locker room leader for our team. And so when you look at our corner room, if you have Xavier Howard on one side, Jack Jones on another, and Nate Hobbs in the middle in the slot, that's about as good as a corner room you can get in the NFL. And I think that really rounds out our defense. And we have an elite defensive line, two great ends in Crosby and Kuntz, you know, a star up the middle in Christian Wilkins, an elite linebacking core in Spillane, Diablo, and now Eichenberg behind them. And in the secondary, you know, Trayvon Merrick and Marcus Epps, you know, a formidable safety tandem. And then when you have that corner room rounding it out, I, I think we have a top three defense in the NFL with the addition of a guy like Xavier Howard, a true number one corner who's not even going to be tasked with going up against the number one receivers because that's what we have Jack Jones for. So you basically would have two number one corners in your cornerback room, which would be pretty elite. You can even say three with Nate Hobbs. So that's a pretty elite corner room. And I think it's not going to be that much of a, you know, a steep price. I think it'll be 
closer to six or seven million, maybe for a one year deal. So we definitely have the cap room to go and do that. Telesco has been very conservative when it comes to, you know, spending on that cap space. So we have the allocation to go and sign a guy like this. You know, we have room. I think Telesco's left a little bit of room to make signings like this, to, to hash out the roster after the draft. And I think Howard fits in perfectly for what we want to do, you know, in our corner room and in our, you know, in our locker room. So Raider Nation, until this move happens, you know, there's going to be a lot of schedule predictions, roster breakdowns, player breakdowns, whatever it is. This channel has you covered all things Raiders. So until then, Silver and Black Attack has you covered. We appreciate the support. Continue liking, commenting, sharing with your friends, and most importantly, subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit monetization. We got to hit that thousand subscribers and we couldn't do it without you guys, all the listeners. So we, we appreciate you on this channel and uh, thank you guys. And Jahan, signing off. Appreciate you.